What the heck is going on everybody? Welcome back to Calgary Barbell. Today we are answering a question about how to transition from conventional to sumo or vice versa and how to decide which style is better for you. Now this is a question we've been asked a ton of times. We've actually talked about it a few times in previous training logs, but I wanted to really distill this information down and make it a little more accessible. So first things first, in order to decide whether or not you should pull sumo or conventional, uh, which stance might be optimal for you, you're going to need to experiment. You're going to need to actually do both. I don't believe there is a sufficient formula or limb length ratio that will give you a precise enough answer. And I think there are enough outliers in a sport as individual as powerlifting to warrant needing to try it out. So what I would recommend is one of two structures for trying sumo versus conventional. Number one, either do both concurrently or at the same time in the same block, have similar training variables for both so that you can gauge progression between the two lifts as well as make notes on which one might be more comfortable or feel a bit easier, faster, smoother, whatever. Now the other way you can do it is program one for an extended period of time and then switch for an extended period of time. This gives both the opportunity to flourish in its own right and you can program, say for conventional, you could use a deficit deadlift and for sumo, you could use a pause deadlift off the floor or something against bands or chains. You could use um, appropriate accessory movements to help further drive that movement and look at them isolated from one another. Once you've decided which style you're gonna lift in, you're gonna need to make the transition. Now in terms of making the transition, the big thing is to not rush it too much. Don't rush into expecting to hit big PRs right away or even match your estimated max or your one rep max from your previous style of deadlifting. You're going to need to potentially slowly ramp volume, slowly ramp intensity, treat it like a new movement. It's totally separate, it's new, it may have a higher ceiling than before based on your previous experimentations about which stance you should use, but you're going to need to treat it as a totally new movement. That's the biggest piece of advice I can give you. And that is gonna be it. So hopefully that allows everybody to not only decide which stance they should use, but transition from one to the other safely and get heckin' strong. If you like the video, leave a like. If you have more questions, please ask them in the comments below. And what we'd like you to do is thumbs up the question that you find in the comments that resonates most with you that you'd like us to answer, and that will increase our odds of picking it in the future so we know sort of popular opinion on what people are wondering about. That would help greatly. So leave a like if you liked it, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more content like this, and we'll see everybody in the next video.